Hi guys, today I am doing a haul from the conservatory where I got a lot of colors. Um, I really don't have that much. I have a lot of samples from the conservatory and I have some oxides and a very dwindling amount of nurture soaps, um, rainbow micas, which aren't in that many fun colors, so I went. They had a sale, so I went ahead and did that. I went a bit overboard. I think I got 13 micas, all about the same amount. First is Sapphire Blue. I'm not gonna lie, I've already used this one. Um, in my sapphire orange bars. In fact, here's a little cut picture. It's not just sapphire blue. I also did another mica I got in here. Actually, this mica, which is espresso martini, I think. And love it. All their blacks are out of stock except for this one. So, and it's from their, um, is it Happy Hour? Yeah, I think it's their Happy Hour collection. And then, I needed a nice light violet, so I got the Violet Silk Mica, which is a really pretty color. I put it into some whipped body butter, but I didn't use a lot, so it's almost like an off-whitey purple, but it looks really pretty on there. Um... I also got bubblegum pink mica, a nice light pink. I haven't had a light pink color and I can never really successfully get a consistent light pink, so this will be really good for that. And then I got a bright pink. I got one of the samples of these and I just love it. It's hot pink mica. Yeah. And it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I've used it and um I've used it in a few soaps. I used it in the baby soap, baby rose soap, well anyway I like it. And here's peacock blue, I've always seen people using it and they loved it so I knew I'd just have to go and it was one of the first ones on it. It's actually kind of close to sapphire, I thought the sapphire was going to be a different color but I like them both and probably would get both at the same time again because I'm just like that. And here's a silk mica. I've wanted a nice white mica because when I do all my soaps with the micas in and then titanium dioxide, that just doesn't have the sparkle that matches everything else. So I just needed a white. And then orange sorbet. It's like a real corally color orange and it's just so pretty and my favorite color is coral so when I saw it I'm like oh my gosh that is to die for so I got that and then the Cambridge blue is like a baby blue a dusty baby blue sorry my lights kind of in the way and glaring but it's really pretty and just the lightness a nice light blue. And here is the shimmering sea foam. I also use this in the baby rose. I had a little sample and it looks really pretty in there so of course I have to get that. And they, I wanted Egyptian green or cyan, cyan green? I don't know what it's called. But they only had sample sizes. And next is Lemon Mica, which is such a pretty yellow. And I just, I really should soap more yellow soaps, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And here is Golden Jade. It was between this one and um, Apple Green, Green Apple. But I kind of like the little golden notes of this. And if you haven't noticed from a lot of my soaps, they tend to have some gold in them. And, well, I actually got apple green too. They're, they're close, but they're different. See, like, this one has more gold tones, and this one is more like a true green green. And I have a dark green, but I needed a light green, so this was really nice. And finally, this totally isn't what I thought it was going to be. 
This is supposedly silver gray mica. I thought it was going to be way more silver. And as you can see, it's like a charcoal-y color. I don't even know how to describe it. But it was not what I was expecting. I'm a little upset from, from getting it. But, oh, well... But if you know of any really good silver micas, which I really need, just comment below. And I will probably take that. And then finally, I just got a little sample of... You can't really see it very well. It's called... Is it Petunia? Yeah, Petunia mica. And it looks kind of blackish on this. But really in person... It's more of a really dark violet, and I think it is going to look... Oh, I dried, dropped one. It looked be will look beautiful in soap. Well, now, with all my little color buddies, um, I will not have to be buying mica or any other colors in quite a while. Of course, I always say that with fragrances, but then they have sale. And you kind of have to go for that sale. Let's face it, that 15% off is just so much. Well, thanks for watching my haul. And look out for these colors in my latest soap.